Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will continue the theorems on angles on a circle. We have the second one, two second interior angle theorem. In our theorem, the measure of an angle formed by two seconds of a circle intersecting at a point in the interior of the circle is one half the, me the sum of the arcs intercepted by the vertical angle and its vertical angle. Okay, to better understand, let's have this illustration. We have a circle here and we have AD and BE are seconds intersect at exactly one point which is the point C intersecting at a point which is the point C here so we have a vertical angle this angle and this angle in our theorem vertical angles are congruent therefore the measure of angle ACE is equal to the measure of angle BCD and of course, this angle is equal to this angle, by vertical angle. The measure angle ACB is equal to measure of the angle ECD. ECD. Okay. Now for our conclusion, to get the measure of the angle, let's say measure angle ACE that is equal to is one half the sum, so one half the sum of the arcs intercepted by the angle. So ACE, where is ACE? So our arc R A. E, so measure of R A E plus the measure of R B D. B. That would be our conclusion. Again, let us repeat. The measure of the angle A C E is half the measure of the sum of its intercepted arcs by the vertical angle. And of course, to get the measure of angle ACB that is equal to one half of AB, arc AB, plus the measure of arc ED. Okay. And take note. Measure angle ACE is equal to the measure of angle BCD. Okay. And this one. Now, to better understand, let's have some uh, exercises regarding this theorem. Two second interior angle theorem. Now, to better understand our theorem number two, let's have the following exercises. Find measure angle five. So given the circle P and the intercepted arcs, we have 30 and 55, and this is our angle 5. For the second one, find measure angle 6. So given the circle S, this is our angle 6, then the intercepted arc, 40 and 52. Let us solve first number on uh, the first illustration, we're going to find measure angle 5. So the measure angle 5. Measure angle 5. That is, in our theorem, one half the sum of the intercepted arcs. So in this case, we have 30 and 55. So we need to add that. Now, one half, 30 plus 55, that is 85. Okay. 
Now, 85 divided by 2. 85 divided by 2. That is 42.5 degrees. That will be the measure of the angle 5. 42.5 degrees. If you want to try number 6, go ahead, pause the video. Then after answering, resume watching to check your answer. So in our illustration, angle 6 is here. So in the given, we can get the measure of this angle. So let us first find the measure of this angle. So let's say, let us name it angle X. So measure of angle X, that is equal to one half of the sum of 40 plus 52. One half, 40 plus 52, that is 92. One half of 92, or 92 divided by 2, that is 46 degrees. So this angle measures 46 degrees. Okay. We're going to find the measure of angle 6. So measure angle 6. Notice that the angle 6 and the 46 angle lies in a straight line. So in your grade 7 and grade 8 lesson, there are supplementary angles. So to get angle 6, we need to less 46 to 180. Okay, 180 minus 46. Why? Because the total of the two angles is equal to 180 degrees. They are supplementary or they, are, they form a linear pair. Now, 180 divided, uh, minus 46, that is 134 degrees. So the measure of angle 6 is 134 degrees. So let us check. 134 plus 46, that is 180 degrees. Okay. That is our second theorem.